Queen Elizabeth II made a big, public statement during her Diamond Jubilee which welcomed Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall and from the cold. Today, Camilla and her husband Prince Charles visited the Irish Cultural Centre, ICC, in Hammersmith to celebrate its 25th anniversary. In honour of St. Patrick's Day, the royal couple learned of the centre's history and its art from curator Barbara Stanley. Charles and Camilla were also given a quick lesson on how to play the Bourne, a traditional Irish drum, and were taught how to properly pull a pint of Guinness. The engagement came just one day after Charles stepped in for the Queen during the Commonwealth Day service and an announcement that stated Charles and Camilla will be travelling to Rwanda in June to attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHOM. The couple has been stepping in for the Queen in recent months due to health concerns. Having recovered from a bout of COVID, Her Majesty made the decision to permanently relocate to Windsor Castle, where she has been carrying out official duties remotely. Charles, as the heir to the throne, is the natural choice to undertake key responsibilities while the Queen is at Windsor. Although the Queen and Camilla's relationship was said to have been a slow burner, the monarch has previously highlighted the importance of the Duchess' role within the royal family. In 2012, the country celebrated 60 years of the Queen's reign. It had been seven years since Camilla and Charles had gotten married, during which the Duchess had been proving herself as a dedicated member of the firm. In a bold, public statement, the Queen invited Camilla to join her in the coach for the procession marking her Diamond Jubilee. Emily Andrews, royal commentator, said that this was a turning point for the Duchess. Speaking on the 2020 Channel 5 documentary Charles Camilla, King and Queen in Waiting, she said, when the Queen decided to put Camilla in the coach with her at the Diamond Jubilee alongside Charles, she was very publicly saying, this is Charles' wife. She will one day take my place and she is the future of the British royal family. And that marked such a turning point for the woman who had bread rolls pelted at her in the supermarket, as the wicked mistress of the heir to the throne. Journalist and broadcaster, Daisy McAndrew added, of course it's a terrible cliché to say that a picture paints a thousand words but that image tells you that Camilla has come in from the cold. That was a very, very big moment for Camilla. Camilla had endured intense criticism from the press and the public since her relationship with Charles was brought to light. Once dubbed the most hated woman in Britain, Camilla has come a long way as a member of the royal family and has seemingly won over a wary public. She has championed her own causes and interests, including helping victims of domestic abuse. Over the past two decades, the Duchess' relationship with the Queen has also transformed. Royal journalist, Robert Jobson, noted the evolution of their relationship during the documentary. He said, of course, it was a slow burner. I think that they obviously had to build their relationship, they had to develop that. Carol Malone, a current affairs commentator, added, it's interesting that when you see Camilla with the royal family, she seems very much at the heart of it. When you see her with the Queen, well they're always giggling the pair of them, and they seem to have a lot in common. The Queen is Britain's longest reigning monarch and this year marks her platinum jubilee. Celebrations will happen throughout the year, but the main events will happen during a four-day bank holiday in June. Charles and Camilla are set to depart for the Republic of Ireland next week. The pair will visit the country between March 23rd and 25th, as announced last month. This tour represents one of the four being undertaken by senior royals as part of celebrations to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee.